Hello everyone. Welcome to studygyan.com. So today we are going to learn how we can add glossary and acronyms in our latex document. So for that go to overleaf.com and create a new project. After that write the command backslash use package and in the curly braces glossaries. So this is the package that is used to add glossary in your latex document. After that write the command make glossaries in order to make new glossary terms for your glossary section. So now let's go to the introduction section and we can see a subsection blockchain technology. So it states that Bitcoin is a digital currency that operates on a decentralized system known as blockchain technology. So suppose that some of us some of us don't know what a bitcoin is. So let's make a new glossary term for the word bitcoin. And how we can do it is by simply writing the command backslash new glossary entry. That is the command that is used to create a new glossary term uh, for our glossary. And in the curly braces write the key to access this glossary term that is btc here and again in the curly braces write name equal to the name of the glossary term that is bitcoin here and description equal to the definition of the glossary term that is the definition of the bitcoin so that's how we made a new glossary entry or a new glossary term for our glossary so now we have to access this glossary in our introduction section uh, for the word bitcoin so in the introduction section in the subsection blockchain technology instead of this word bitcoin we are going to access the glossary term bitcoin by the command backslash gls that is used to access glossary terms and the key for the glossary term that is btc here and then we have to print the glossary for our document for our article by the command backslash print glossaries it will help to print the glossary at the end of the article and we are going to now click on recompile and we can see our glossary section uh, at the end of our article that states that Bitcoin and its definition. So we can see that the Bitcoin is the first word of the sentence. So we will prefer it to be capital. So what we have to do is go to the subsection blockchain technology and instead of small g in the backslash gls command we have to write capital G and recompile the code and the problem is solved the bitcoin is now capital so to properly understand how to add glossary let us make another glossary term for the word blockchain so we will also do it by writing the command backslash new glossary entry and now we will uh, give the key bc to the blockchain term and the name is blockchain and the description equal to the definition of the blockchain and now we have to use it in the article instead of this blockchain technology we are going to use backslash gls uh, and the key for the blockchain and we are going to decompile the code and now we can see that there are two terms in our glossary one for bitcoin and another, another for blockchain so this is how we can add glossary terms for our article. Uh, so now there is another thing that if you want to use a plural form of the glossary entry, suppose we want to use uh, the word bitcoins instead of bitcoin, uh, then what we have to do. So suppose that uh, suppose that in the subsection blockchain technology, we use the word bitcoins instead of bitcoin. So now the word uh, Bitcoin is not used in our article. So the glossary uh, will not contain the word Bitcoin. So what we have to do uh, to use the plural form of the glossary term is that in the gloss new glossary entry command, just write after the description plural equal to the plural form of the glossary term that is Bitcoins here. And then to access this uh, glossary terms in plural form, you have to write the command backslash gls pl for plural and in the curly braces, write the key for the glossary term that is btc. 
and recompile the code. And now you can see that we can uh, access the glossary term uh, with its plural form by using the command glspl and we want it to be capital so replace the small g with the capital G. And this was how we used our uh, glossary term in plural form. So let's understand how we can use acronyms in our article or documents. So for that you have to go to the use package glossaries and write square braces acronym and close the square braces. So now you can use acronyms uh, in your document. So let's focus on the subsection terminologies and we can see that it states E2E stands for API stands for and GUI stands for. So we have to create acronyms for these three definitions. Uh, so I have already uh, written these acronyms. So you can also create these acronyms by the command backslash new acronym. And in the first curly braces, write the key to access these acronym. And then in the second curly braces, write the short form for the acronym and its full form in the next curly braces. And similarly for API and GUI, GUI, we have done the same. First the key and then the short form and then the full form. So how so now how can we access these acronyms uh, in our subsection terminologies? So E2E stands for, we have to use the same command to access acronym as glossary that is backslash GLS and in curly braces the key for the acronym that is E2E and just recompile the code and we can see that in the terminology section E2E stands for end to end and the print glossaries also print the acronyms for the document E2E end to end and similarly we can do it for API and GUI uh, backslash GLS API and backslash GLS GUI and recompile our code and we can see API and GUI are also in the acronyms uh, section and in the terminology section, we can see API stands for application programming interface and GUI stands for graphical user interface. So this was all about the lecture. So I hope you get how we can use acronyms and glossaries in our latex document. Thank you for watching the video. Hope to see you again.